Welcome back to American Latino TV. I'm Valerie Ortiz. Up next, we have a young, talented singer, musician, and composer named David Alfaro. Now, David has recently released his debut self-titled album, and it's definitely making a splash in the world of Latin pop music, with a mix of genres including jazz and R&B. As a musical artist, David has quite the backing as he has been groomed through his musical evolution by renowned producers, the Dulca Brothers. Now, after a breakthrough appearance on Telemundo's music competition series, Yo Soy Artista, David is setting out to conquer the Latin music industry, and he begins his quest right here on American Latino TV. Siempre he sido para mí como el aire que respiro en ti puedo descubrir. Hi, I'm David Alfaro, and I'm a singer-songwriter, and I'm from Los Angeles. It all started when I was seven years old. Um, I saw, uh, I grew up at church, in church, so my parents are really Christian. So what happened was there was a guest artist. He showed up with a hot pink guitar, and I was like, whoa, you know, mom, hey. I really wanted to learn how to play the guitar, but we didn't have money at the time, so, and my mom was a single parent. So she just told me, you know what? Why don't you join the church choir? And I was like, all right. So I joined the church choir, and from there, everything started. Quiero pintar con tus besos el mar y un cielo azul lleno de estrellas donde siempre te encuentres tú. Everyone is always asking me, how come you don't sing in English? And I was like, you know what? I just love, like I said this before, te amo sounds a lot better than I love you. You know, there's a lot of te adoro. Like if you start talking to a girl in Spanish, man, you know, it just sounds a lot better. And, you know, and that's when I decided, you know what? Yeah, I'm struggling with my Spanish, but this sounds way better than in, in, in Spanish than in English. So that's when I, I actually decided to just go, go for it. I've always been a believer of love, you know, and that's where it all started. Um, you know, I got my heart broken and then, boom, I started writing and then I was like, you know what, I can't get out of this. I'm, I'm going to start expressing my feelings on, pa on paper and then that's how it all started. And, you know, I, I tried working on songs about life or whatever, but it doesn't come out. It doesn't come out as smooth as the love stuff, so. Well, I had this, you know, this beautiful chick, and she was wicked, man. She was, she was horrible. So, <laughs> you know, she, and that's when I decided to write the song. I was very frustrated, and I, that's, you know, the first line was, Te entregue mi corazón, and it was true. I was like, and it came out in, like, in an hour, so I was really, I was excited that it came out in an hour, you know? What I want the music to do is I want I want to connect with people. I want to, you know, I think that's the most important part is the lyrics connecting with the people as well as with the melody. And some people, you know, uh, can't express themselves as well. So that's what I want to do. I want to try to find every possible way for myself for, for me to just express myself for them, maybe. Oh. 